Hey guys, welcome back to Brown Sis Math Club. Today's topic is how to factor polynomials completely, right? So polynomials can be one or more terms, so they can be monomials, they can be binomials, trinomials, etc. So today we're going to learn how to factor polynomials completely, so all the way through. And today we're going to use the polynomial 9x cubed minus 90x squared plus 140. 44x. So here's a trinomial, right? This is a trinomial because it has three terms. So the first step in factoring a polynomial completely is to find the GCF, all right? So we have to find the GCF of this trinomial. So we're going to look at each one of the terms and try to find the commons, all right? So the greatest common factor, right? So we have 9 and neg negative 90 and 144 as the constants. And the greatest common factor in these constants is 9 because I know that 9 times 1 is 9, 9 times 10 is 90, and 9 times 16 is 144. So the greatest common factor in uh, for the constants in this trinomial is 9. But then we also see variables, right? So we see x's and there is an x in each one of the terms in this trinomial. That's why it's going to be considered as part of the greatest common factor. But there are different exponents for each variable in each of these terms. So we have x cubed, x squared, and x all by itself. And when we have a variable or a number with no exponents, it's going to always have the exponent of 1. So the greatest common factor is going to be 9x. All right, so the, once you have the greatest common factor, now you're going to write the trinomial again in the set of parentheses with the GCF divided by each term, right? So we have 9x cubed, and then you take 9x out of it, we're going to be uh, remained with x squared, and then we have negative 90x squa uh, squared, and that's going to become negative 10x. And then we have positive 144x, and that's going to become positive 16. Alright, so once we have the GCF and then we have the our new uh, trinomial, what we're going to do now is we're going to factor. So first, go ahead and bring down the 9x. Alright, so first we're going to go ahead and bring down the 9x, which is a GCF as it is. Alright, and I'm going to make two sets of parentheses because we're factoring. And now I'm going to write x in each of the parentheses because I know that x times x will give me x squared. So that's done with. And then we have, we're left with negative 10x and positive 16. So if you remember from the previous video on how to factor polynomials, what we need to do is that we need to find factor pairs of the number 16 that when multiplied give you 16, but when added, they give you a sum of negative 10. All right, and since we have a positive and we have a negative, what we're going to be doing is we're not going to have two factor pairs that are both positive, all right? They're either going to be positive or negative, negative or positive, or both of them are going to be negative. So first, let's go ahead and find the factor pairs of 16. So we have 16, and the factor pairs of 16 are 16 and 1. We have 2 and 8, and we have 4 and 5. Four. Alright, so 16 times 1 gives you 16, but if you have, let's say, negative 16 and positive 1, that's going to give you negative 15. And if you have positive 16 and negative 1, that's going to give you positive 15. Uh, but if, uh, also, if you have negative 16 and negative 1, that's going to give you negative 17, right? So e either way, we, we can't use the factor pair 16 and 1. And then we have 4 and 4. All right, so 4 times 4 gives you 16, all right? And if we have positive 4 and negative 4, that's going to cancel each other out. If you have negative 4 and positive 4, that's also going to cancel each other out. And if we have negative 4 and negative 4, that's going to give us negative 8. So these, these, this is also a factor pair that we cannot use. But then we have 2 and 8, right? So 2 times 8 gives us 16. Right? If you have negative 2 and positive 8, that's going to give you positive 6. If you have positive 2 and negative 8, that's going to give you negative 6. But then, if you have negative 2 and we have negative 8, 
that's going to give us negative 10. So we're going to use the factor pairs negative 2 and negative 8. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and write negative 2 and negative 8 in these two binomials. And this is how you factor polynomials completely. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.